anything you need. <laughs> Just tell me, Marjorie. Hi everyone, I'm Sandrine here and Happy Cool with Kenny for a new Game of Thrones review! This week's episode was called High Sparrow. High Sparrow. Let's talk about it. First, I have one quick thought. Quick thought is, is the mountain still alive? Yeah, I think that had to be him underneath the Franken Gregor. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, there's no actual proof that Sandor Clegane is dead, so Clegane Ball, get hype! Moving on to Arya. Wow. In the house of black and white. And so she has started training and had to give up her clothes, her needles. Oh, Maisie was so good in that. I was hoping she would sell that scene, the sword, because it's, it's just, yeah. That was good. Moving on to Marjorie and Tommen, who are now married. Luckiest 17 year old actor in the world. It's what I want to do for the rest of my life. <laughs> Screw me, Sex king. Brilliant. <laughs> who invented this? How old is Tommen supposed to be? In the story? I don't know. Kenny, how old is he supposed to be? Well, <laughs> in the books, he's like uh, eight. So. No, he's eight? Yeah, yeah. Like, seriously, eight? Yeah, they don't consummate in the book. Oh. She gives him kitten. Here's a kitten. Here's a kitten. Here's a cat. Representation <laughs> of her future. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only <laughs> you're going to get right now. <laughs> oh my god. So bad. We're so bad. I love how Marjorie is kind of like trying to get Cersei out of here, which goes back to what she was saying. Now, perhaps she won't be staying here, you know? Yes, Marjorie making moves. But, but, I think Cersei's making moves too. Because she's, you know, she's like, hmm. Cersei won't go down easily. No, she's not going down without a fight. And I think she's looks like she's maneuvering to use these new faith people sort of as sort of team. Like, let me bring you onto Team Cersei, please. All in all. Anything you need. <laughs> That's what she said to Marjorie. Anything. 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 I will kill you. Sansa and Littlefinger. Littlefinger, oh I liked God. you. But now I don't know because what? I mean, Ramsay is like worse than Joffrey. Again, I, I, you know, you bring me here because I have book knowledge. Yeah. I have no knowledge. This doesn't You're happen. You're useless. Baby. I'm useless, useless here. I'm useless. Next season, I'll be thoroughly useless. No, no. This season, I'm only partially useless. But oh my God, Sansa at Winterfell going to marry Ramsay. And I'm kind of still a, I'm a little confused because yeah. some people think that she's... Littlefinger's niece, and some people, like the old lady, said the North remembers, which oh, I think the North does remember. Mm -hmm. That's cool. But then even Bolton is like, Sons of Stark, blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, okay, well, it's not a secret from Bolton. So how many people know and how many people don't know that she's Sansa Stark? But I think you brought up the point that, whoa, is little, what is Littlefinger's what's ultimate his, plan? What's his plan? Didn't he, because didn't he love Catelyn? He did love Catelyn, and... Who killed Catelyn? Well, I mean, other than the phrase, the Boltons helped. You never know, know with Littlefinger. You don't know with Littlefinger. That's the problem, and that's why we love him. The good news for Sansa, though, is that Brienne is on her tail. She's still on the case. So, if anything happens to her, possibly Brienne might try and save her or help her. So, if Ramsay's crazy, because we know he's crazy, or if his lover, who seemed really pissed yeah. when Sansa was there, does anything, might, might, might be of some help. And then, she's gonna teach Podrick to be a knight. Sword fighting. Is that in the book? Mm, ish. Ish. And I love that we found out a little more about her story when she's telling the story that of her was and the ball. And, yes. you know, why she liked Renly. And she's like, I knew he was gay. <laughs> God, I can Pod. Still, we can still be friends. Can't I still love a guy I if I know he's not into me, okay? That was a good story. Oh, and I know. Gwendolyn played that really well. And now you're like, I understand why she wants to kill Stannis. <laughs> Stannis. Stannis. <laughs> the more I think about it, I think eventually Stannis has to meet Brienne somewhere along the lines. Now. Well, I think Stan is going to die at some point. At some point. Because I don't think Melisandre is right. In the head? Uh, and, and, and in, anything. In anything. Jon Snow! Yeah, stepping up. He's basically flexing his power and uh, got uh, Jano Slint basically going, <laughs> I don't have to listen to anything that you say, Snow. I have my friends around here, see? They're not going to take it. They're not going to let you take Wait a minute. Why is that like, A slight difference from, from, from the books. There's a line in the books that people were sort of 
hoping to hear, which was fetch me the block, Ed, which is the has Ed go fetch it, but instead he said, Ollie, fetch me my sword, which isn't isn't that that different. Mm. I don't think it's the same thing. And the coolest part of that scene, the Stannis mm. nod of support yeah, he's from like, far potential, away. Potential, potential, potential. Yes, potential. That's like that's what that that was a bro fist from afar. It was <laughs> yeah. like if you could like teleport like, your bro fist yeah. across the yard and be like, yeah. Alright. Tennis! The High Sparrow! Oh. We meet the High Sparrow. He's like a Mother the uh, Teresa kind of sort of, yeah. character. I expected him to be like, you know, because in, in Game of Thrones everyone's kind of like nasty. But he's just like a well-intentioned person. At least it seems like he is. But when she's asking him, where are your shoes? He's like, oh, I just gave them to someone who needed them most. And you're like, God bless you. God bless you, you're not going to last long. <laughs> well, I, for some reason I, I feel like... Maybe. I feel like, you know, Cersei's making moves with these people. That's true. And and gonna yeah, what is guy. Cersei going to do? And finally, Tyrion and Varys. So Tyrion decides he wants to take a walk. Why? Maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> is that why? why? And then we see the lady who's also serving the Lord of the Light, like Melisandre, but she's saying that the Mother of Dragon is the savior. So now I'm like, well, who's right? Because I, I thought every person that was serving the Lord of Light might for Stannis, but apparently not. And they apparently not. see different visions. Yes. So who, how do you know who's right? Whose like, vision is right? And then she looked at... Tyrion. Tyrion. Very weird. Mm -hmm. yeah, like she knew him. Yeah, or like she knows something is going to happen. Yeah. And uh, they have a brothel with some very interesting costuming. And then Tyrion says, I always pay my debts. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> yes. Come on. I mean... Let's just spell it out. Yeah. And Jorah's by Sure is back! Yeah. But I did think it was funny that he's like, I'm taking you to the queen. And I'm like, but that's kind of where he wants to he's go. Already, he's already going there. Uh, you know. Instead of being in a box, now he's going to be like in a burlap sack over his shoulder. So way to go, way to go, Tyrion. Really bright. The only thing I have left is Stannis. <laughs> anyway, those are all our thoughts. Yay. If you want to let us know what you thought, tweet us at <laughs> Sosadrine. At Shucker. And let us know what you thought of this crazy episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe because we review Game of Thrones every week. Every week. It's here. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye. Sansa, why? Why are you at Winterfell? Marrying Ramsay. Why? Why? Why?